To you, Danny. Yeah, as my colleague James really said, uh, definitely Trump is laying the basis to undermine this entire electoral process, which really has nothing to do with democracy to begin with. It's not by popular vote, it's by electoral college, which is part of the inheritance of um, uh, uh, slavery um, and a constitution that was written by the 1% or the billionaires of, of, of the 1700s. So he did everything uh, claiming that this is going to be a fraud, that the mailmen and, uh, are going to dump votes in rivers and in, in trash cans, uh, when in fact for so long, uh, individuals like himself uh, have voted by mail, as have military soldiers. So there's a number of contradictions there, but he's definitely, again, dog whistling, signaling to his shock troops. So he's trying to create uh, uh, circumstances where he won't lose no matter what, because if he lose, loses, quote unquote, according to the rules of this, quote unquote, democracy, then he can say no. He can, and, and like like James said, he can go the uh, lawfare route, that is warfare through judicial means by stacking the Supreme Court with Amy Comey and other um, conservative justices who are already there. If that doesn't work, he has his plan B, C, and D. He can go to violent interventions, call out his white supremacist shock troops. Um, but I don't think uh, the U.S. military, so many generals, and the CIA intelligence offers have come out against him. Uh, I think the true ruling class of this country, the ruling class is trying to recolonize Venezuela and Iran and really every swath of the globe. They see Trump as a major destabilizing factor to capitalism and imperialism. And they see Biden as another Obama, as another Hillary Clinton or Bill Clinton, as someone who can really stabilize the reputation of imperialism. We remember in the Bush years just how massive the anti-war and anti-imperialist movement was here in the U.S. And certainly the true ruling class does not, not want to see that again. Just one final impression. I think a lot of people were skeptical whether Joe Biden could hold his own tonight. I'm certainly no fan of, of, of Biden, but Biden did come back somewhat strong. He called the bigot in chief, the fascist in chief Trump, a clown on several occasions. Um, he told him to shut his, his mouth. So I think overall tonight, um, was a victory for Biden in the Democrats. Now, this was at CNN, which is really a home court advantage for Biden. The next one will be at Fox News. So let's tune in in two weeks and see what happens. So thank you very much, James and Danny, for your time and for your analysis. Also to help us understand everything that is at stake for the U.S. in November. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Danny. Thanks, James. So we have come Thanks, to God. the end of our special coverage.